Welcome back to Alpha Cars. The moment has arrived. We're about to take this 1990 E34 535i for a test drive. And this car is actually automatic transmission and I've been driving it for the last few weeks and I absolutely adore it. I love it and I'm a big fan of manual transmission, but because of the luxury and the, can the handling characteristics, I am absolutely in love with the fact that it's an automatic. Let's see why. Getting into this car is an absolute joy because first of all, you are greeted with phenomenal elegancy and you greet it with something that others don't have because there are so few of these around, certainly not in this condition. Uh, all the time that I've been driving it, there wasn't a moment when on the road, uh, someone would um, just do a thumbs up, smile, wave, and uh, it, it, it just generates a ton of positive emotions around this vehicle. So let's get it started. Turn the ignition on. By the way, getting into the seat is also very nice because the seat is nice and firm. Low mileage car, the seat is uh, tight. It's not like one side is softer than the other. It isn't. So we're going to start the car. Starts right up. Excellent throttle response. I'm going to set the temperature. Put it at 20 degrees probably around 72, 73, uh, low fan speed. And it's a dual climate control, which is a great option. So I'm going to put it in drive. I'm going to turn the lights on uh, and the orange instrumentation. The, signa the BMW signature is on and impressive radius of turning and taking it on the road. So we had the engine idling for a little while. The engine temperature reached uh, operating temperature. So we're good to, we're good to drive. And I do love this automatic. It shifts beautiful and I can truly enjoy the uh, the handling because I don't have to worry about the shifting. I can have my phone, my camera, my whatever, um, and I can drive this car. It could be a great commuter. It could be a great one special car. Um, so it's totally practical. And anyone you're going to put in this car, I had some people I was driving with they could not believe the age of the car, the condition, and how and how it drives, and how roomy it is. And I've driven a lot of these cars. I've driven some cars way back when we bought with very few miles. I remember in late 90s, we were buying off-lease, 95, 96. E34s. I remember one uh, 525 was a blue one I bought for a local customer. He had it for so many years and it got close to 300,000 miles. But I remember that car when we bought it, it had like under 20,000 miles. And this car reminds me how that car drove. It The steering response is awesome. It just overall, this car, how it takes bumps, how switches feel like when I turn signals or wipers everything is just super crisp and and tight pulling into my favorite spot here we are okay let's take another look at the car in a different setting with lights on and engine running. Before we had the engine running, it was actually uh, still cold. 
the exhaust is original factory muffler gets a nice uh, nice tune Oh, I'll definitely take a few images. What a great setting. What a great looking car. Here's a great shot. Another good one right from here. So let's continue with our test drive. Actually, we have our fog lights right here. Yeah, the suspension is tuned beautifully. So with this automatic transmission, uh, it's nothing fancy, but you can actually put it in uh, standard. They call it economy mode, sport mode, which I like because it shifts a little different. And then you can also have it in manual mode and you can actually shift gears manually. And then you have that letter M that represents the manual mode, S for sport, and E for economy. So we're in drive, and and drives beautiful. Awesome brakes feel no different than the brakes on a brand new E34. Throttle response is instant and very, very smooth. No delay and plenty of power and torque from the inline 3.5 liter BMW famous six cylinder engine. So back roads are awesome. And again, the handling of this car is great. And the steering wheel is a nice touch. And I know some people uh, put them afterwards, but this one was ordered this way. So this car, with exception of the radio, uh, with exception of the beautiful AC Schnitzer rims upgrade, and adjustable Coney shocks. This guy is 100% original other than those items I mentioned. And the radio works great. And if you like to have the original one, it's in the trunk. And then the shocks are doing a great job. And the handling comes from the, of course, the ultimate BMW design, how they designed this car. And it's enhanced by the Coney shocks that you can tune to your liking in a matter of, I was gonna say minutes, but it's actually seconds. And then you have these great rims. I think they might introduce a tiny little bit of oversteer, exactly something that American market European cars are missing. And I could be mistaken, but I do want to feel that, and I think it's there. 
just a little bit of oversteer coming to uh, turns. So acceleration is phenomenal. You can see it shifts smoothly, just beautifully, right around 4,000. And again, it depends on your level of acceleration. That's how it will shift. And if you want to pick up some speed, normally you would throw the clutch in, downshift, and release the clutch on acceleration. With this car, you just step on the gas. And it, look at that, it just takes off and shifted right at 5,800 instantly, beautifully. Love it. We just arrived to our Alpha Cars facility. On my right, there's a gorgeous BMW 840, and I'm driving this absolutely insane. I'm absolutely in love with this E34. And I'm not sure if the previous owner will be watching this video, but I'm so thankful for the opportunity to buy this car. And we have done tremendous improvement improvements and uh, added a lot of value through the service work but if it wasn't for uh, the previous owner who actually uh, bought this car and reached out to us we wouldn't have had it so thank you for that so we're going to start from the front of the vehicle and show you uh, how original it is from the originality standpoint, this vehicle has uh, 33,000 kilometers, about 20 some thousand miles. And this vehicle is a left-hand drive Japanese import. So uh, definitely read up on alphacars.com and you'll see all the details about the history of the vehicle, the level of improvements we've done, and um, you will be very, very impressed. But let's continue with the underbody inspection. You can see a lot of updated parts that we have installed based on our inspection. And as far as Japanese imports, what we noticed, and this is not just this car, but pretty much everything we've had, uh, they apply very thin, uh, non-drying coating of the under like some kind of a undercoating you can see that black on variety of parts and uh, up here you can see we have a brand new muffler we installed that you can see the new tires gorgeous AC Schnitzer rims those came in from Japan with the vehicle and again 100% original underbody throughout not a speckle of rust very very tight car I had a pleasure of driving this car for actually for a, probably for a few hundred miles and i was very very impressed um, in late 80s early 90s i had a 735 and this car reminded me that a lot so um, very torquey nice smooth inline six cylinder engine and impeccable performance great condition on this 1995-35. Uh,